All right, continuing our Apex testing discussion, now we're going to talk about increase your code coverage, okay? So when we develop a class, like for example, this class, we want to aim, when we write any kind of code in Apex, we want to aim that every single line of code here will be used. So we will not have unused codes, like wasted codes. That is what code coverage is all about. Well, don't just aim for 75% coverage, meaning you write a test just to pass the test. But you have to be vigilant enough to make sure all your code lines are actually being used. To actually know that, you will need to test your code. Will this ever get used? Will this ever get used or not? Or this will always be skipped until the end of the world. <laughs> that will never run. So why would you run that? Why would you write the code if it will never ever run, right? So you want to write uh, a clean code and you want to maximize code coverage, meaning you have written a clean chunk of code and it's all usable. It is not wasteful, all right? So that's the actual aim or goal, all right? So let's copy this code. Actually, I'm just going to copy the class name first, task util. We are going to actually create that. So head on to our developer console and our playground. I think I have it open already. There we go. Make a new class, file, new, Apex class, boom. There, task util. And then I'm going to copy the code from the trailhead here copy and flip back to my developer console paste it boom so i am going to save this remember the star the star has to be gone after you save it star has to be gone means it's a successful save so let's go through this okay a class of public the name is task util so we have a method which is returning a string, here, string. The name of the method is get task priority. It accepts an input of string, which we will name the lead state, all right? Now we want to validate the input of this task util class to get task priority. If the string is blank, meaning the lead state is blank, or the lead state length, length of characters, is greater than 2, return null. Nothing to return. It's, you just pass me, you just give me a blank, dude. Or invalid, the state name has to be 2 characters, alright? So, if this doesn't happen, go on ahead, right? Re process this. So, string task priority. If the lead state, what is being inputted here, equals California CA, the task priority becomes high. If it's not California, everything else becomes normal. Ah! Nah, we don't really care about other states. We just want to do California tasks, okay? And then you return the task priority, which you will, you set here. It's either high or normal, all right? So basically, that is what the class is doing. Now, we want to actually, what? Create a task class, right? So flip back here. So... There's a note, the equality operator, which is equal, equal, there's two of them though, 
equal equal not just one okay performs case insensitive okay so it doesn't matter if the input is ca with lower case small case c small case a or capital c and small case a or all both capital it does not matter it doesn't matter okay okay so we have a test now it's basically passing a priority of uh, the state is ny based on the class it will return normal right so let me, let me just copy this test and flip back to our developer console actually i have to copy the task name task util task first file new apex class boom text task util test okay all right now i'm going to copy the actual code of the test copy it paste and save so it's a task class all right the method is also a task method so the name is test task priority the method name and then we basically declare a string variable which will contain the value of this method we call the method of this class task util this is task util right task util you call the class and do its method get task priority which is get task priority and pass a string which is the state and we're passing what and why is not california so it's not high priority when we pass ny this will run right is the state blank no it has ny is the state length it's more than two characters no it's two so continue make a string task priority if lead state equal equal california hi is it california no it was n y so n y is being passed n y so it's not it's an else it's not ca so it's going to be normal so our ass assertion will return true or good but do you know what's going on this chunk of code here never runs because we didn't test California. So this in our test is not running because we are just testing NY. We are just testing to pass NY. So only this chunk of code runs, right? Right? And this didn't run. So if we just leave the test as it is, it will not have 100 coverage unless we do another one, which, we're, which will be passing CA, then it's going to be 100%. All right, so let's see here if I actually run this test here, boom. See this, it's running, it's running, it's running, it's running, running and running and running. It passed, but it is not 100%. All the testing is passed. It passed the assertion and everything has... Uh, run at there is no error but if i if i do that see task util is just 75 percent right it's just 75 percent here if you double click just double click there why on earth is this 75 percent okay oh yeah there's two two reason first this null never executes Second, we never pass a California test, right? We have to do some California tests. To do that, you can just do this at a California test. Well, California never runs. Now, I want to run another string. Let's go California priority or whatever you want to name it. And then task util no tax task util dot all right task you util dot get task priority and then we pass boom california now california will run this chunk of code will run all right 
Because this is going to be California. This chunk of code will run. But what if it's no? We need to test the blank one. Bada bing, bada blank. I'm just going to copy this, okay? I'm just going to do that for you. And, you know, blank. And then you just give it a blank, dude. Give it a blank. Or even do this. California. This is more than two characters, right? It says if it's more than two characters, the length, execute this. So we are going to actually do that. Okay. All right. So we can also um, assert equal here. We have to test all three. Boom. The second one should pass. Is it high priority? What is it passing? High. Just high. High for CA priority, right? And then the last one should return just null. Boom. Oh, boom, boom. Come on, boom. This should be null, which is, which is nada, zero, nothing, null. Boom. So that's how you actually test... Um, all possibilities of this class so we want to test all possibilities if it's no all right if it's more than more than two characters okay i'm going to save this so there is no star here boom now we are going to rerun this test because we just modified the code i'm going to hit run test again and we are going to be happy is green and look at this boom 100%. See, 100%. Are you happy now? It's all green. Uh, it's all blue. It's all blue because we have covered all possibilities there, right? So that's how you can increase your test code coverage. All right. So what else? What is next? So we are discussing about this. Well, you can also this do these three methods, you know. This is really lame. Well, you can do however you want it. It's a code. It's like you play your own Lego. Play your own Lego. Build your own Lego. Okay? It doesn't matter. You can do it like that. It's maybe more structured. It looks more nice, you know? But I, I, just, I just do it this because I just want to show you how the whole thing works. Okay? All right. Now you can also create and, and execute a test suite. A test suite means you, you combine what tests you want to run okay so you can categorize or group test classes and then you can run it together depends on on what projects you are working on you are developing you might want to group tests together and see how they run together all right so file you can play with that no test um, new suite and what do we want to call it I forgot what do you want to call it Temp, temp converter task util suite. Temp converter task util suite. And you just want to add this two onto the suite. All right. And you save that task util and temperature converter. Now you can run a task suite. So new suite run. And then you choose that um, task new suite run. This suite, boom, and run suites, boom. Now the suites are running because it's a suite. It's the, the uh, it's showing the ID there. Why is my suite suite run fail? Is this the last one? Temperature converter. Oh yeah, because we were modifying, right? The temperature converter. Okay, let's fix that because I don't like red stuff going on on my code. I don't like red stuff. I'm going to open resource. And what is it called? Test what? Temperature control something? Temperature converter test. Okay. Because we actually purposefully, intentionally want to break this. It's supposed to be 100. Okay. That's the right assertion. Now, if I run the sweet again. It's going to be sweet here. I'm going to run the suite again. Test run 
where is my sweet new sweet run it's going to be sweet and run sweets nice green because he's all happy and dandy look at that it's all green baby and it's all 100 percent. look at this boom blue and blue that's how you do your tests okay so let's flip back here to the trailhead creating test data now we were just testing um, stuff by passing in numbers right but you can also pass in salesforce records all right you can test do a soccer query but you have to do it to do um, see all data through or you have to create the test records i think we're gonna do that on the next um section here probably this guy here okay so we will play with salesforce records more all right so now we are going to do the challenge but not on this video i will do the challenge together with you on the next video bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom